Hey everyone, welcome to Gadget Mix. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Asus VivoBook Flip 14 TP414 FAEC3 82TSO. Uh, first of all, I upgraded it to the Windows 11, which you are seeing right now, and it is super fast um, since it runs everything on an SSD. It comes with 256GB SSD, at least this variant, and also comes with 4GB, 8GB RAM. Uh, full version of Office 2019, which is super awesome. You save a lot of money. It comes with this nifty fingerprint reader, which I'll show you. Just lock the screen, just swipe it like that. And you'll be logged in using the Windows Hello technology. Very nice. It's all baked into it, so it all works the way it's supposed to. It weighs 1.5 kg, and this means it is super easy to travel around with and um, it has touch screen you can flip the display and use it as a huge tablet with 14 inch display perfect for watching movies and since it runs on an ssd you can flip it whatever do whatever you want and there's no chance of getting your data corrupted because it's not running on a hard disk so the upgrade went very smooth and I opted to upgrade it directly from the initial setup. Even though it is the Windows 11 is still in beta, it's running just fine on it, and I recommend others to do so. It is powered by the 10th generation i3 processor, 10110U. This is an ultrabook processor, so it's very uh, power efficient. And um, the gestures, uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10 gestures work just fine everything works um, Windows 11 is very refreshing um, feels like a skin compared to feels like a skin on top of Windows 10 and that's not a good thing it's a very it's a great thing the Mac seems Mac the Mac users are just used to the same old looks the Windows 11 at least does something um, different the Photoshop, I just fired up a CS3, runs super fast and I am trying to launch every single thing on the taskbar and you can see this Asus Viewbook Flip 14 has no issues in uh, running any of those applications. Uh, everything uh, pops up fairly quickly I would say. And yeah, I mean I, on my Chrome I am opening um, like 10 websites in one go and uh, the, it has no issues in uh, handling all of them and it's, it is uh, consuming around um, almost close to 5 giga 5 GB RAM with all those uh, tabs open and all those applications open so you're still left with like with left with like 3 GB RAM and I think personally the Windows 11 is doing a much better job in handling the RAM compared to the Windows 10 which is a nice thing um, I've not opened the back of the unit, but I'm pretty sure I will be able to upgrade the RAM to it to from it to 16 GB. It has integrated graphics, no dedicated GPU here, but hey, you are not buying a gaming laptop here. Talking about gaming laptop, yeah, it should run your uh, entry level games just fine with this Core i3 processor. Do not ex since it's not running a desktop class processor or a full voltage processor. Uh, don't run, don't expect like 120 uh, FPS from the latest game. If you're running game from, you know, from 2015, uh, you'll be fine. One nice thing, it has it comes with the backlit keyboard and there are three backlit settings. So, one, two, three. Um, three backlit settings. Um, it works just fine in the dark. The keys are very easy to see. So, on the right you have uh, one full-size HDMI port, one full-size USB port, and one USB-C uh, jack along with one full-size 3.5mm uh, mm headphone jack there's a Kensington lock as well on the left side you have the power button power uh, volume up and down button uh, one full-size SD card slot and two more USB 3.0 ports so on the ports department uh, this laptop won't disappoint you which is nice for a slim laptop like this, I bought this laptop to carry it on with me everywhere. It is super nice to see not carrying a dongle with me everywhere I go. 
you know, this thing, my, my MacBook Air irks me when somebody hands me over a USB drive and I have to find my dongle just to uh, plug that in. With this, no problem, three USB ports, no issues. And you can use the volume up and down to directly control the volume from there. Super nice thinking by Asus. Um, the keys, the keys are very nice to type on. You can type essays, novels on this laptop. The tactile feedback is best. It's at par with, almost at par with the MacBook Air, which has by far the best uh, laptop keyboards, I would say. For me, at least, I'm not a big fan of mechanical keyboards, but as far as chiclet keyboards go, this laptop gets a thumbs up from me. Excellent laptop. Uh, the Beatles are a bit too big for my liking. And... Uh, uh, they, they have uh, added the um, webcam or the bottom of the display. The entire chassis is made of plastic even though it looks metal. It's made of plastic. <laughs> I have pasted the tough stickers from my Asus Tough F17 laptop. On the bottom you have uh, two speakers and it's not a fanless laptop and you have these exhaust, uh, these outlets for the exhaust fans. Uh, it does get a little bit warm, but not too hot. Uh, you can simply keep it on your lap and you won't fry your balls for sure. So you can't open it with one hand like MacBook Air, but I'm not complaining at this price. It costs half as half of what the MacBook Air costs. And the screen is amazing. It's full HD, glossy. Uh, and I have applied a screen protector on it as well to prevent it from scratches. I'll be using the touchscreen display to uh, to you while you know while using it in tablet mode, of course. Um, but I prefer to use Bluetooth mouse to navigate the operating system. It's very fast for day-to-day -day use, and I, uh, I love it. Uh, so let me fire up uh, the Passmark website and see. Uh, to show you guys how much how 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 much horsepower is packed in this um, laptop. So firing up the Passmark website and let's scroll down and see what's the score. So the score is around the score is 4053, which is not bad at all. So it's a great laptop. Hope you like this video. Give this video a like to show support and stay subscribed for more technology and watch reviews. Bye bye.